Well, this week, the International Storytelling Center welcomes Lini Del Siemens. Lini is performing all this week and is here to tell us what listeners can expect during her performances at the concert on Saturday as well. You have a busy schedule packed, right? I do. I Holy do. Holy cow. I love it. So you have a concert kind of ending your week run of matinee performances. Tell me real quick, just so we can get it out of the way, when are your performances this week? This week, every day at 2 p.m. Okay. is the matinee. Perfect. Predominantly adults, but, you know. And then Saturday is the big uh, children's concert right. at 10.30. And then there's a 2 o'clock concert at 2. Wonderful. So let me get a little background on you. How did you kind of get into storytelling? Well, storytelling called to me, I think, um, most, most of my life. Mm -hmm. I've been a performer in my family. Uh, my mother's side of the family were performers in vaudeville so i was kind of born with that sawdust mm -hmm. in my veins but the other half is 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 cuban cuban and um they're natural born storytellers so between the two of those stories have always called but i went through a stage door i have a degree in theater and did wow. traditional professional theater for a long time until it was time to really do the storytelling, which I love, and I predominantly do that. That's great. And so will listeners be able to see kind of that theater style in some of your performances as well? I, I think so. I try not to be overly dramatic. Mm -hmm. I just use the ability to become a character in the story, and I change characters pretty quickly. And, um, and it's pretty believable. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, that's, but you know, and I sing, so I sing in the song. Wow. And a lot of the shows so I sing. So a little too. bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit. So not what? too much dance. <laughs> yeah, not too much dance, but singing. And also, some of your uh, performances will be bilingual too, right? Yes. See, si, por supuesto, <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I yeah. wish I knew it. I wish I could that's think that okay. fast. When I do the Spanish, it's always translated with yes. English right away. Oh, so wonderful. So everybody knows. That's great. So you don't have to come being fluent oh, in Spanish. Not. You can just come and enjoy it, no. right? No. The idea is to have the good storytelling experience, experience the stories mm -hmm. and the fun of performing. And so what can people expect when they come to your performances? Well, I think they expect, hopefully, to have a good time if yeah. they know me well. I'm pretty fun-loving yeah. and use a lot of humor. But I love. I also my love of people. I think kind of shines a little through, and they'll hopefully learn a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. I have personal stories and traditional tales, which Wonderful. is important to do. It's a little mixture of both, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And this is something that has taken you all around the world and has brought yes. you to Jonesboro for five times now, right? Yes, for the Teller in Residence, the Storytelling wow. Live series, yes. Tell me a little bit about what it's like to be able to travel the world and be uh -huh. able to tell stories for a living. It's exhilarating. It really is fun to meet different people from different cultures is mm -hmm. one of my favorite things to do. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just the, the best thing is to be around the world and in different parts of the country as well mm -hmm. and just get to know the area and get to know the people and their customs and their style. And, and I'm sure you use some great. of that and incorporate that in some yes, of your stories yes. as well, right? And you read the audience to see what you mm -hmm. have and sometimes you plan what you're going to say, but you know, which stories, but depending on your audience, you might change it or switch it around. So it truly is a performance, right? Yes. That is it so is. wonderful. It and is. so real quick, we will remind people that you have shows all this week, matinee performances, right? Every day at two. Every day at two. And then with a great concert on Saturday. Tell me a little bit about what people can expect at the children's concert. Lots of participation, for yeah. one thing, and um, it's important for me, for everybody to feel that they're included, so inclusivity is very important. And so lots of fun and silliness and actually learning a little bit about performing, too, using their voices as well. Oh, it sounds great, yeah. Lainey. Thank and you so much. Yeah. yeah, singing as okay. well. It yeah. sounds like some great shows in store for you. Make sure you catch the storytelling concert on Saturday, the 20th at 10.30 a.m., also a regular one at 2 p.m.